Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm so freaking excited because right now I just ordered sample of Parfum de Mali Casili. So I'm really freaking excited. I cannot wait on my parcel. I know that uh, for some of you I'm of course a little bit boring and sorry for my um, imperfection on my skin but it's caused because of the face face masks we need to wear on the work at work and it's kind of yeah um, stockholm syndrome on my skin because uh, masks are causing my uh, my irritation my cysts on the skin and also they are covering them so for some reason i hate them and for some reason i just love them so i know i'm i'm freaking I'm, I'm just I'm just crazy I know but I'm really freaking excited and I cannot wait for my sample of Cassily and yeah I would like to compare uh, Cassily with Billiard Bella de Resistabla which is my favorite uh, Billiard fragrance honestly this is the my, my the only one favorite from Billiard which as far which I have and I ordered a lot of dupe of uh, expensive fragrances and this one in my opinion smells the best uh, actually uh, Billiard um, Bella de Irresistible smell on me uh, very fruity a little bit powdery it's very long lasting, it's very intensive, it's very feminine, it's like a woman, sexy woman in sexy dress uh, during the summertime. It's amazing scent, but from time to time I can smell uh, some plastic chemistry note, I don't know from some how somewhere it's getting but I really don't like it and I really don't like the way how it smells from time to time I really hate this and it's really destroying and doing um, me uh, that enjoying the scent wearing doing the wearing the scent so I really don't like it and I ask on a few uh, Facebook group fragrance group uh, how what I actually the difference between those two fragrances and I didn't actually got any of a concrete uh, answer anything what could be enough concrete for me so some of the people just the most uh, answered uh, the most answered comment it was that and only the differences in the price one person just answered to me that for this person just those two fragrances just smell different and uh, be layered uh, Bella de Resistable is more alcoholic and one person just answered to me uh, that this um, Parfum de Mali de Lina is more wet And actually, I'm enjoying Bella de Resistablon second day after when it dry down and it's more powdery when I put the same t-shirt on me on the second day and after when it dry down, it's more powdery, it's less, of course, intensive because it's for second day and anyways, this scent anyway is long lasting because if you can smell it still on uh, on your shirt very intensively on the second day but it's of course not so intensive as the first day anyways this is very long lasting and on the second day i really enjoying wearing this scent much more because i don't smell this uh, plastic chemistry note so intensively as on the first day but it's more powdery on the second day and it's um less fruity those are the different and i'm and i already i cannot wait after when i get this sample from um, when i get the sample of cassily puff of the marley and i'm gonna compare them and then i will come to you soon with my thoughts with my review what i think about them both so see you soon bye 
Hello everybody, welcome back. So on first uh, part of this video you could see how I am excited because I ordered some sample of Cassidy from Parfum de Marly. Right now I would like to show you, uh, because I already received the sample, how it came. I tried to make a, a video from opening but everything just started falling down and my mobile phone fell down and my box fell down, everything. So I just only made a mess. So I'm gonna show you how it came to me. It came in such a big box. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, it's a little bit waste of um, material. But the box is really cute in some uh, mm, marble. <sighs> design. Uh, I ordered the sample from site Robert Nervert Cosmetics, but I can see that uh, somehow it's belong also to the website House of Snobs. So I think uh, whatever you will choose which side it, you could buy the samples. They have few niche brands and they have quite, um, how do you say? Is, in my opinion, they are quite uh, the most popular niche uh, brand. So, yeah, I think every one of you can find something for yourself, and they are quite uh, cheap. Because when I compare to another niche uh, stores, the stores which are selling the niche fragrances, uh, this one are really quite uh, cheap uh, comparing to another one. So it's came in such a huge box. It's opening like that. So it's really nice actually box. Maybe I can reuse later this for something. And here I got the two samples because I ordered Cassidy from the Marley and uh, Creed Aventus. And it came in such a huge box with a lot of some sponges and it was wrapped those two samples, they were wrapped in this really nice suede, 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 I don't know how it's called. It's such a suede, uh, nice wrapping paper. So, uh, what are the difference between Cassidy Parfum de Marly and Belayered Bella de Irresistible? First of all, when I spray Cassidy, what I could smell immediately is that Cassidy is less intensive, for sure. It's less intensive, it's um, better blended, it's more natural, um, everything is blended very well, so it's not like here in um, be layered, Bella Dairy system, but that first of all I can smell some fruitiness, then I can smell a little bit powder powderness and then dry down on the second day like I already said, uh, I really like the most the scent and on the second day it's more powdery and I really like the way how it smells uh, on the second day. Here everything is blended uh, very nice. So you have some equality between this fruitiness, between this powderiness. Everything is blended very well. Of course, here in Parfum de Marley, you can smell that ingredients are better quality. So it's higher quality than Parfum de Marley. You can immediately smell it. It's less alcoholic, Parfum de Marley Cassidy. Like I said, it's more natural, it's um, a little bit less intensive, but anyway, it's really long lasting because even when you wash your hand, I did like that, I wash my hand, I go, to, I take a shower, I go to sleep, and on the second day when I wake up, I still could smell a little bit this um, deep, um, I don't know, some deep note which I could still smell it typical for from Parfum de Marley the same I could smell uh, when I use um, I forgot how it's smell how I forgot how it's called uh, Delina so 
it's typical but you can for sure smell that ingredients are better quality it's uh, well blended it's much more better blended it, there is some uh, equality between the powderness and the flowery powderness and fruitiness there's not like in um, be layered and what is the most important for me that here in Cassidy from Parfum de Marley I cannot smell any of those synthetic plastic chemical note it's really important for me very because then I can enjoy this scent and uh, yeah I didn't I was so excited when I tried it at all uh, maybe I expected that they're gonna smell totally different no they smell almost identical really honestly they smell really almost identical but I remember how, how much I was excited when I first time tried Bella de Resistable from Belayer and I was really excited so I hope if Cassidy from Parfum de Marley it was my first try ever and I will never smell the scent like before so I yeah I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be so excited as I watched as I was when I first time tried Belayered Bella de Resistable from uh, yeah from Belayered so they are almost identical and yeah I'm quite really uh, anyway excited because if somebody will pass by next to me and knowing only Cassidy and you let's say you're gonna wear the do of Cassidy, Bella there is Sable, it gonna can make mistake that this is Cassidy. Of course on the first sniff when somebody is passing by next to you they are really smelling identical. But when you're trying them, when you know how they both smell then you can smell some differences. So, be layered uh, Bella Der Sistable is more synthetic, it's more chemical note, plastic note. There is something animalic, well, it's, I, I cannot really uh, stand this in the sand during wearing. It's, uh, on the first day, it's very fruity. Uh, on the second day, when I put the same shirt, it's more powdery, which I really like. It's really long lasting, it's very uh, intensive, the silage is huge, projection is huge, uh, longevity is huge, so it's, I, in my opinion, it's worth money if you of course don't, um, if this chemical, animalic, animalic whatever it is, uh, plastic synthetic notes doesn't disturb you wearing the sand. Cassidy from Parfum de Marie is more expensive. Uh, you can smell that those uh, ingredients are very well blended. Uh, you can smell that uh, there is equality between powder powderness and fruitiness. Uh, it's also long lasting. It's a little bit less intensive than uh, uh, than be layered. Bella de Resistable, sorry, doesn't have this synthetic plastic node and yeah, right now if I were, I would have to choose, I have no idea which one I would like to choose because because uh, Bella de Resistable, it cost around 50 euro, 55 and uh, Cassini, it costs around 280 euro, 260 is depending what you're gonna buy. So yeah, it's huge difference between them. They smell almost identical, but really, honestly, I can't stand this chemical, plastic, synthetic note. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna. As far, I'm gonna just only uh, wear the samples and I'm gonna enjoy how they smell. And maybe later, if I, I will decide, I'm gonna buy one of them. Uh, yeah, I really recommend you buying the niche samples from Robert Nervert Cosmetics website. 
Uh, yeah, they are cheaper. They are cheaper than comparing other websites, and and they are coming really good quality wrap. So yeah, they are really take care about this. Look at this. They are really taking care. Sorry, they are really taking care of your samples. So they're gonna come to you without any damage. So yeah, I really recommend you to buy uh, any niche samples. I know that they don't have so many uh, niche houses, perfume houses, as I wish, but maybe in future they're gonna um, grow with this, uh, with their range. So yeah, I hope. So see you next time and bye.